have now seen how a map is made, how heights are shown, and how a point is indicated by coordinates. The smaller the scale of the map, the less room there is to indicate clearly the object by its true outline. A map can show objects only in plan. Conventional signs are used where there is no room to show the true outline. For example, a church is shown in its correct ground plan on the six-inch Ordnance Survey map. But on a one-inch map, it is shown by this conventional sign. For ease of recognition, conventional signs are as suggestive of the object represented as possible. Thus, the sign for a windmill would scarcely be mistaken for anything else. Symbols differ on different series of maps. As Ordnance Survey maps will constitute the basis of your training, it is important that the symbols on them should be carefully studied. On Royal Air Force edition maps, special signs are employed for the use of pilots. These will be depicted later. The signs being demonstrated are those on the Ordnance Survey one inch to the mile map. Road. Main routes between towns with over 14 feet of metalling are shown by two thick black lines. Other roads with over 14 feet of metalling are shown by one thick and one thin black line, rather closer than in the case of main routes. <coughs> in both cases, roads which are fit for fast and ordinary traffic are coloured yellow. Winding or indifferent roads are alternately yellow and uncoloured. Roads under 14 feet wide are shown by two thin lines main roads being coloured yellow. Other roads, alternately yellow and uncoloured, unless they are bad, in which case they're left uncoloured. Minor roads are shown by two thin black lines drawn very close together and uncoloured. Railways. Double or multiple railway lines are shown by a thick black line. A single line like this. Electric railways are shown the same as ordinary railways. Stations are shown as circles or rectangles on the railway line. Bridges and level crossings, so. Embankments, cutting, tunnels, so. Tramways are shown by a thin line crossed with small lines. Woods are shown by the shape and are coloured green with trees shown as black marks. A park or ornamental ground is shown in a lighter green. Canals are coloured blue with a black line along one side. If an aqueduct, by lines on the outside of the coloured blue line. These pictures show various conventional signs. A windmill. A wind pump. Church with tower. Church with spire. And church without either. A post office. Post and telegraph office. Post office with telephone, telephone call box. Figures are used to show the height above mean sea level. Contours have been explained in the previous reel of this film but are shown again. These are at 50 feet vertical intervals. Rough pasture is left uncoloured. But marshes are shown like this and dangerous bogs in a similar manner, but surrounded by a line. Lakes and rivers are coloured light blue and are shown like this. Bridges. And ferries being depicted by lines. A ferry for vehicles. A ferry for foot passengers. Ocean contours are shown in a similar way to other contours, but the figures represent fathoms. A fathom is, of course, six feet. 
A light ship, thus? This couldn't be mistaken for a lighthouse. Or a beacon. The conventional signs used upon the quarter-inch Royal Air Force series are as follows. Main road. Other metalled roads. Railways with two or more lines. Railways, single line. Tramways. A race course in red. Church or chapel. A golf course in red. Windmill. Aerodrome. Landing ground. Airship station. Hangar for airships. Mooring mast for airships. Seaplane station. Seaplane mooring area or anchorage. Marine light or light boy. Light vessel. Air light. Aeronautical WT communication station. Aeronautical WT DF or beacon station. Overhead power transmission line. Aeronautical landmark. Air corridor, airway obstruction or obstruction over 200 feet, 60 meters, above ground, prohibited area, danger area, explosive area, airport with customs facilities. Aerodrome with beacon. Aeronautical WT communication and DF or beacon station. Aerodrome and airship station. Airship station and mooring mast. Aerodrome and seaplane station. Aerodrome, seaplane station, light beacon, aeronautical WT communication, and WT, DF, and or beacon station. Aeronautical WT station constituting an obstruction. The conventional symbols used on any map sheet are shown in the margin at the foot of the sheet, except in the case of the folded maps of the quarter-inch Royal Air Force edition, which have no margin. In the case of these latter maps, the conventional symbols are shown inside the cover.